Come on, you. Idiot. Oh my god, this ear grating goddamn noise. Yes, thank you. Jesus, how can I help you to please never ever do that again? So, welcome to Hugo's House of Horrors. The pinnacle of god time gameplay. Uh, let's see. Poo -poo -poo, save game. That's what I want. <sighs> okay, is there a story so far? As is... There we go. So yeah, deep and intricate plot lines to be sure. Yes, I, I think I still remember how to finish this game, don't stop it. Right, so, if we look around, what happens? In front of the house where Penelope was last seen, our dear, dear sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on you. Waddling dumbass. What are you even wearing? A purple pants and blue shirt. That doesn't look like anything. Wow. Can we can we just leave? Leave. I see. So look at the house. Spooky looking house. I think you should go inside. Look at the bat. It's just flapping around. Look at the moon. You'll, you won't go blind from looking at the moon, you idiot. Um, wait, are you? There are still sun rays, technically. I don't know how that works. Do deflected sun rays still blind you? Huh. Can I look at the tree? Can I climb the tree? I've never actually tried that. Yeah. So, pick up the pumpkin. Okay, and then we look at the pumpkin. Looks a little. This pumpkin look a little odd. Okay, yes. Hmm. High quality fluff text as well. Anyway, if we open the door, it is locked. So unlock the door. You don't have the key. So we smash the pumpkin. Pop culture reference. Boop, and we have a key. Get the key, unlock the door, and thus we enter the spooky mansion. Dum dum dum. Hey there, Professor Dipshit. Did you know that hiding your key in a biodegradable pumpkin is a really, really dumb thing to do? No? I guess that's just me then. Oh, look at that. So there's a big feast going on to the right. Maybe we should go check it out. Maybe that that sounds fun. Parties are always fun. Come on, let's let's have a look at our dinner guests. Some of the guests look rather ugly. Wow, you break into someone's house and then proceed to call them ugly. Wow, Hugo, you're a massive dick. This is not a good place to be unless you want to end up on the dinner plate. Well, isn't that nice? Let's see, we have um, Vlad right there, we have Frankie to the left. I think the brown guy, oh wait, hmm. The guy on the right is probably Death. Can I look at them individ individually? No. Look at the guests. Regular old monster type. Okay, talk to the guests. Only interested in eating. Look at the butler. You're not close enough. Well then, let's go get a little bit closer. Hey, buddy. But buddy. Yeah, he's he's really homing in there. Care for a chop? Yeah. <laughs> right. Because all it takes to decapitate someone is like one fell swoop. That's how it works. Oh dear. Right, so let's not go that way. It's a silly place. Instead we get a candle. And we look in the hole. A little pen knife. And a silver whistle. 
So we get a pen knife. And we get a whistle. I wonder what the whistle is for. Well, let's find out. Blow the whistle. Doo -doo -doo. One of those dog whistles that only dogs can hear. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, shit. Oh, well, look at that. So that's a dog whistle and calls in a murderous rabbit, Cujo, to come eat our balls off. Okay, uh, look at the painting. I see. So next thing we have to do is to investigate uh, everything upstairs. Let's open the door. Creak. Now let's open the closet. Creak. And there we have a mask. Look at the mask. A grotesque monkey's head. Get the mask. There we go. I don't think there's anything else here. Hmm. Fine. So we move forward. Our intrepid hero. Breaking into someone's house. Hmm. You have arrived at the bathroom, I see. Look through the window. Pretty dark, you can make out a shed. Look in the toilet. <laughs> Come on, take a pee. Um, pee in the toilet. Right, so it seems our hero doesn't know how to pee. That is kind of awkward. A number 333, three, three, which is obviously a combination for something. And look in the bathtub. Right. So that's about everything we can do. We have a key, a knife, a mask, a candle, and a whistle. And now we head into where the professor moved. High frequency, blah blah blah. Knocks your mask off the floor. Hey, buddies. Guys. You've been looking all over the house? I, I just got here, buddy. You don't even know who I am. Step into the box and we'll begin the experiment. Um. Um, I don't think I want to. Oh. Yeah, is he gonna do the thing again? Yeah. I don't really think I want to. Look at the table. A rubber bung. Get a bung. You're not close enough. Get a bung. Oh. The thing's in the way. Um, can you close your box, buddy? Look at the professor. He looks totally gone. In the mad professor's laboratory, I see. So the little table is obviously the one thing we need. Um, look at the green man. Who the hell is that? He has a certain charm. So look at the, the thing. Look at the machine. Lots of buttons. Press the buttons. You'd better leave that to Igor. So, is Igor the green man, I assume? Tell Igor to press button. But you're not in the box, master. Ooh, I'm the master now. I thought the professor was supposed to be. Fine, fine, I'll get in the goddamn box. Jesus Christ, you people. Well then. <laughs> okay, so he Igor's colorblind. Isn't that nice? Um, are you gonna Wow, look at how tiny I am. Look at can can I look at myself? 
It is you, the hero. I see. So I think, can I nudge my way past this now? Yes, to grab the bomb. There we go. Now, um, we have a bit of an issue because we can't actually escape the room like this. So basically we have to get back in the box and tell Igor to press the yellow button. Which turns us big again. Isn't that nice? However, ooh. We're walking kind of funky. Um, yeah, this isn't quite right, buddy. Uh, can I? Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Um, tell Igor to press the green button. Wow, see, he listens to me. He doesn't listen to the professor, but he listens to me. Oh. Shit, this still doesn't look quite right. Um, but buddy, maybe I can walk through the door. I look to be, a, I seem to be a ghost. Okay, so you phase through the door handle, but you, you can't phase through the door. That makes total sense, game, yeah. For God's sake, um... Press the blue button. He actually listens to me, isn't that nice? Igor is very nice. Are we okay now? I think we're okay. Cool. So now we can leave. And we actually need the monkey mask. Because this allows us to head over to the guests and have a chat. Because obviously having a mask on is enough to fool a bunch of monsters. Hey guys. Let's see if the butler is still... Care for a chop? Why yes. Is that actually, is that pig or is it perhaps long pig? Um, look at the chop. It is supposed to be a pork chop, I see. What happens if we keep talking to the butler? Too busy, okay, that's fine. Let's see, what do we have here? You are in the kitchen. And that stupid goddamn dog is actually to the left here. Look in the cupboard. Nothing. Look in the fridge. Okay, can we look in the oven? Right. So if, you ha if we head down, this takes us back into the main hall. If we head up, this takes us outside. Now obviously Hugo doesn't know how to walk on grass because, you know, walking on grass is um, a highly trained skill. So we have to actually follow the path doo -doo -doo -doo, and get into the shed. The door appears to be locked. With a combination lock. Well, we do know the combination. 333. Three, three. There we go. So now we can have a look in, in the shed, and it seems to blah blah blah. Garbage. Rust. When you notice an oil can sitting on the shelf, well, isn't that nice? Get oil can. You're not close enough, but where is it? I can't even see it. There we go. Come on, you silly bugger. Do, 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 do. Right, this next part, um, I'm not sure. Right, I remember, I remember. I can't actually use a dog whistle because that just summons the dog to eat my face. Instead, what we have to do is 
give the chomp to the dog. We're gonna head in here. Oh, shit. Okay, so we actually have to throw the chop to the dog. Otherwise, of course, he eats our face. Hmm, he's gonna be busy for a while. So look at the dog. I'm not sure if I want to be close enough. What happens if I get close? Is he going to eat my face? This is no lassie, I see. Can you look in the mouse hole? <laughs> Gross. Okay. So there isn't actually anything here except a massive rug. So if we look at the rug... Yeah. We have to pull away the rug or something to that effect. Um, push the rug, maybe? Pull the rug. God damn it, move the goddamn rug. There you go. And there we have a trapdoor. Can we open the trapdoor? Appears to be bolted shut, so unbolt the trapdoor. Please say undo bolt. Wow. If you know what I want to do, then just do it instead of telling me a different way to do it. Jesus. The bolt refuses to budge. Okay, so use the oil can on the bolt. There you go. Undo the bolt. And open the trapdoor. There we go. So this takes us downstairs. Into some sort of basement. You can hear muffled sounds. Ooh, we're getting close. Can we open the door? It is locked. Look through the door. You can see Penelope. Isn't that nice? Talk to Penelope. Can't speak since she is gagged. Hot. Um. In any case, we have to find a way through. And I think it's right in between these rocks. There we go. Ooh, bats. Evil bats. Uh, and this is where the dog whistle comes in play, I think. If I head in here and blow the whistle, these vampire bats should... Slow down. That probably doesn't make sense, but still. Do do do. Um, save my game. So what does it actually tell us about the bats? Yeah, I'm not getting close enough. Fuck that. Uh oh. In a cave with the mummy's tomb. Why does he have a hole in the back of his tomb but still just waits around for someone to come in the front? That doesn't make any sense. Um. So I basically have to find a way to get past the mummy. Talk to the mummy. Okay. Then I guess he's gonna... Yeah. I've never actually understood this. How can mummies hurt you? They're bandaged regular people. They, 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 they can't really do anything to you. Unless they have like magical powers, but still. Okay, so we have to find a way to psych out this mummy. Do I have anything useful? Key, candle, knife, whistle, bung, oil. Boop, 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 boop. Can I burn the mummy? No. Can I use the knife on the mummy? No. Stab the mummy. Kill the mummy. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's not gonna work. There's a massive sack of gold there. I'm not sure if I can get it. Um, the first idea is obviously to find a way to psych out this mummy douchebag. Is he, is he not gonna move, but buddy? Oh shit! Um, can I move up? And then he's gonna follow me. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, damn it! Okay, let's try that again. Move up, move down. There we go. Hey, you mummy asshole. Um, can I psych you out even more? There we go. So I think I can get to gold now. Boop. Yes, I am. I'm right on top of it. Get the gold. And if I'm fast enough, I should be able to make it in the tomb. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. So, now what? A small underground lake. Blue, blue, blee. An old man. Who appears to be fishing. What the hell are you doing here, old man? How can you live like this? Can I go to the left? No. Okay. So I'm assuming... Look at the man. You're not close enough. Talk to the man. You're not close enough. Okay, so I guess I have to get in the boat. Cut, cut a rope with the knife. There we go. Use the boat. Get in the boat. The boat has a hole in the bottom. Okay, then plug the hole. Plug the hole with the bung. There you go. Get in the goddamn boat. Ah, oh, you're such a dipshit, Hugo. So now, um, row across, I guess. Move the boat. How do I tell them to actually move across? Row? Um, English words. Get across. Move, goddammit. Key oil I know uh, uh. Row I mean it's row, right? A boat How do you call that? Cross Cross the lake. Move to man. You're not close enough. God damn it. Use the boat. God damn it. Row. Row is the only thing I can think of. Move. Row. Use. Bar. What do you call the movement of a boat in a verb? I'm not sure. Do I have anything to row with? I don't think I do. Why do I have the gold anyway? Okay, so, hmm, bonus, I guess. Push the boat offshore. There you go. Seriously? S seriously? Are you just gonna start bouncing around? There you go. Get out of the goddamn boat. Oh, talk to the man then. Ooh, ominous. Handle the dangers, what else is there? Permit me to test your metal. 
with a few questions. Well, isn't that nice? Only accept your first answer, okay? Come on, you dipshit. Wow. What was the first name of the hero in The Hobbit? Uh, b -b 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 it's been a while. It's Dildo, right? Dildo Baggins. Yes. Where did Aslan live not in a wardrobe? Wow, um, I'm... I'm really not up to date with my nerd shit. Um, Aslan, Narnia, Narnia. Who invented Count Dracula? Oh, shit. Was it Bram Stoker? Awesome. What should you do with a pan galactic gargle blaster? Ride it, fire it, drink it, run away from it. Um, I don't know this one. I kind of have this inkling it might have something to do with a hitchhiker's guide, but I can't be sure. Maybe drink it. Wow, that was correct, okay. What's the name of the only mammal that can't fly that can fly? Mankind, right? A human. Humans can't fly, but we have airplanes, so we can fly. Right? Human. Oh, you're kidding. Come on, man. Give me another go. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Let's try again. Um, Bilbo. Blah, blah, blah. Narnia. Uh, you're kidding. Damn you, old man. Bilbo, Narnia, Bram Stoker, drink it. Man, it's it's man, right? Of course. Oh, oh yeah, human man, yeah, that's not good enough, is it? Ugh, dipshit. What was the name of Roy Rogers' dog? Oh shit, I do not know. I'm gonna have to look this one up. I do not know at all. So, it's supposed to be Bullet. Yes. Did you register the sharer? Oh, come on. I, I didn't actually... Uh. God damn it. Bilbo. Nanya. Blam, no, uh, e, man, bullet, yes, there we go, get out of the call time boat, and now stab the old man, because he's a bit of a dick, god damn it, I really want to kill this guy, he's a bit of an asshole, Hit the man. Punch the man. Damn it. Oh, whatever. Let's just get the hell out of here. I should be almost done. Whoa. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. We're very close. Do, 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 do. Let's save my game because I don't want to do that ever again. Let's talk to the guard. He doesn't understand you. You don't want to argue with. Do I have anything for the guard? Oh, maybe I can bribe him. Hand over one coin. Yeah. Yeah. 
Awesome. Are we done? Thank you. Well, isn't that nice? <sighs> and there you have it. Hugo's Goddamn House of Goddamn Horrors. Quality gaming for sure.